The 10 best restaurants in Manchester you need to try. From kebabs to tasting menus, curry cafes to all vegan kitchens, here's our pick of the best restaurants in Manchester. Manchester's food scene is flourishing. Following Mana's 2019 Michelin star, the first in the city for more than 40 years, it has since also become home to two Michelin Bib Gourmand restaurants, recognized for their excellent value, and one recipient of the Michelin Green Star for sustainability. Of course, these awards aren't the only measures of greatness, and Manchester has plenty of other fantastic restaurants to prove it. Among them are trailblazing indie restaurants, under the radar gems celebrated by national restaurant critics and affordable no-fuss local favorites. This city's restaurants are not to be scoffed at and its place on the world food stage is only set to become bigger and better. From late-night kebabs to vegan delights, hidden curry cafes to mind-blowing tasting menus, here's our roundup of the best restaurants in Manchester right now. Number 1. Ozma. What is it? A classy combination of flavors and style from Oslo and Manchester, where the founders come from. Why go? You'd be hard-pressed to find better food anywhere in the city. The exquisite flavors in OSMA's menu of seasonal, locally sourced produce are matched by the stunning presentation and a lovely, welcoming team. With its sumptuous small plates, delicious Sunday roasts and a fine daily lunch menu, Ozma is a fantastic addition to the increasingly impressive North Manchester restaurant scene. Number 2. The Sparrows. What is it? A cozy restaurant serving a variety of handmade European dumpling and spatzel dishes. Why go? Oh, so many reasons. The staff, who are lovely. The setting, which is warm. Oh, and then there's the food. If you're unfamiliar, Spatzel is the sparrow's speciality. Egg noodles that are common in South Germany, Austria, Switzerland and the Alsace. Meanwhile, a more Eastern European flavor is brought in with the dumplings menu. Add to these the most delicious sauces, daily baked bread and a wine selection that's full of surprises, and you can see why the sparrows is a place to flock to. Number 3. Refuge by Volta. What is it? An eclectic range of small and large plates designed for sharing. Why go? Manchester DJ duo Luke Cowdery and Justin Crawford, aka Unabomber, have traveled the world playing music and have now turned their attention to creating dishes that are equal parts imaginative and delicious. What's more, the setting is glorious. This must be one of the city's most stunning interiors. It's a relaxed vibe much in keeping with the music the pair are known for. Number 4. Dishoom. What is it? Manchester's very own Irani Cafe. Why go? Dishoom is winning hearts for homey dishes served in the eclectic splendor of the 1920s Grade 2 listed Manchester Hall. The cocktails can hold their own, too, with original takes on classic mixes. Expect Indian street food and traditional dishes inspired by the old Irani cafes of Mumbai. Humble, hearty and spicy, this is comfort food at its best. Number 5. Marais. What is it? A relaxed, friendly restaurant inspired by a mix of Middle Eastern flavors. Why go? Tucked away in Lincoln Square, Marais has now been going for almost a decade, with restaurants in Manchester and Liverpool. Not only is the Manchester space a classy, cool and comfortably unfussy venue, it's rare to find food of such quality at such a reasonable price in an unfussy setting and with a lovely bunch of people waiting to guide you through it. Tip. Have the disco cauliflower. You'll dance yourself dizzy. Number 6. The Black Friar. What is it? A gastropub on the Salford, Manchester border. Why go? Named after a Benedictine monk who promoted the healing power of people getting together for food and a drink, Salford's Black Friar has had several incarnations. It's been around for a while, it was rebuilt in 1986, and fire damage left it derelict for over a decade until it was refurbished and became a gastropub. The mix of old and new, the old pub has been extended with a glassy modern restaurant, 
informs the menus, with traditional dishes with a twist being the order of the day. Tip. Treat yourself to a leisurely Sunday roast and you'll be thanking Monk Benedict Farsaray all the way home. Number 7. Baratsori. What is it? A backstreet Basque joint. Why go? Having recently moved from Ramsbottom to join Ozma and Onda at Exhibition on Peter Street, this kitchen has an ethos of simple dishes cooked to perfection. Its Rescoldo wood-fired grill plays a role in almost every dish, imparting a smoky, char-grilled flavor to huge cuts of meat and whole fish, theatrically carved at the table. Number 8. Mana. What is it? Avant-garde British fine dining. Why go? Slick and serious Mana, which in 2019 became the first restaurant in Manchester to receive a Michelin star since 1977, that was the French at the Midland Hotel, serves thoughtful dishes using under-celebrated British ingredients and produce. The open kitchen enjoys surprising guests with anything from reindeer moss to nixtamalized corn broth. The innovative menu won't be everyone's cup of corn, but any restaurant that makes moss taste utterly delicious deserves a place in this list. Tip. This place is reservation only and books out months in advance so plan well. Number 9. Where the light gets in. What is it? A modern, airy dining room serving meat-focused small plates. Why go? Off the tourist track but well worth the pilgrimage, where the light gets in has really earned its Michelin green star. The passionate team operates in the loft of a lovingly restored Victorian coffee warehouse in Stockport and many of the ingredients are sourced from their own nearby farm. There's no denying you'll spend some serious money here, but is it worth it? Yes, it is. Tip. Visit its pop-up bar and vinyl night for a more affordable taster. It's hosted in their staff room, complete with ironing boards and coats, on select weekends. Number 10. Greens. What is it? The oldest and best vegetarian restaurant in the city, in West Didsbury. Why go? It was set up by celebrity chef Simon Rimmer back when he was all chef, no celebrity. He and business partner Simon Connolly ensure that food is delicious and the atmosphere is relaxed. The decor is warm and welcoming, and so are the staff. It's a fantastic restaurant, fully deserving of its many awards. Thank you for joining us on this culinary adventure. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more exciting content. Until next time, happy dining!